Hello everyone, we are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews today. And you know, we're working on some projects going on. You've been uh, fixing stuff and installing stuff with me uh, along this adventure going on. Uh, but now that we, you know, put, we did some projects, uh, fixed up some stuff uh, with the wood floors, you know, they ran wires or whatever through the floors. So there is little holes and stuff. And I've been, you know, installing stuff inside the walls or just cleaning stuff up at, you know, whatever. Uh, and pretty much that's it. So we uh, we got this mini wax that we're all going to try out together. It's called Min Wax Wood Putty. Now this is wood putty. This is going to be designed more for finished floors. Now this is finished. If you're not if you're not using it for finished floors, unfinished floors, you're going to be using that other paste stuff that comes out instead in a tube, and you squeeze it in, and you're going to be using that because that one you can stain. It. You can usually sand it and stain it a lot easier. This is just like a putty and it never gets hard, okay? That's the only reason why this is only made for very small holes. Um, even this is a little big for it, but this is close to the wall, so the chances of anyone, you know, uh, putting something here, dropping there, or anything like that is very, very slim, it being close to the wall. If it was farther away, we'd probably look for the hardener, okay? You're not gonna be this, you're not gonna want the wood putty, you're gonna want the wood hardener. Well, it's wood putty hardener is what it is. And you're going to be wanting that instead for anything that's going to be, you know, the size of a quarter of an inch or bigger. Or, you know, there's going to be traffic or you just want it harder. People are going to be cleaning because with this, guys, if you put this down and you have, like, you're going to be cleaning a lot, vacuuming, mopping, whatever, this will come up over time if it's a quarter inch hole. Okay, so it's really only made for nail holes and, you know, you know really deep scratches that someone makes in the floor when they're dragging furniture that's pretty much what this stuff is for okay but we're going to try it out right here all right so first you're going to want to make sure the area is clean because you know it's not really going to stick that well and i'm just using you know a, a mild detergent or whatever uh just to clean it doesn't really matter what you use so you just want to get it clean because you don't want any dust particles or anything like that that's going to make it you know come up easier than already what you know it can because like i said this is a putty it doesn't hard it, do it doesn't harden it doesn't adhesive in there so anything like that okay so this is the color uh that we went with just to let you know even though it doesn't say a color on here so we got the golden oak color just to tell you it says they have like 18 different colors to choose from so you can really get you know narrow it down to what you're gonna need forgot to show you that this is the uh the bottle i'd like to show you guys that the uh the instructions or any of the information the manufacturer gives you so you guys can easily just pause that and now you can get your instructions on what it says okay and this way the product and the instructions are in you know one location okay all right so you're going to use a putty knife i'm using a putty knife just because look the angle of this i can get it in easier i like this better i put my finger here you can hold it down and get stuff in there's a really good um you know putty knife that i got here it's called the Red Devil from Union, New Jersey, is what it's called. Even though that's, maybe, I don't know if it's still there anymore. But let's grab a little bit over here. So you're just going to grab a small amount in there, and that's it. You're just going to push it in that hole there. And that's it. All right, that's pretty much it. I mean, um, I would use a microfiber. This is all I had, okay? Uh, a, you know, regular a cloth rag. I would use a microfiber, guys, because when you use the microfiber, it won't, this has a tendency to pull up some of it, uh, you know, pull it up some of the putty from the hole if you're using a regular uh, cloth like this. If you're gonna use um, a microfiber, it's a little bit softer and it will not pull up the material when you're doing it. Just to let you know that it's a little bit easier, but that's it. It's never going to harden. That's all it's going to look like. I mean, I think it's going to blend in fine. It probably looks decent from the camera from far away, better than that big hole that was there. Uh, but we have another one that we're going to fill in and we're going to test it out on that as well. We'll be right back.
All right, everyone. So that's the last of it that I wanted to try out, not just the hole. I wanted to try like a little gap that was between the wall and that came out really nice. As you can see, you guys are about three feet away from it. So if you're taller, you're not going to notice this at all. And you shouldn't have any problems. This we're going to use a wood filler hardener on here. So we'll do a review of that when that comes in, probably in a week or two. Uh, we'll be able to fill these up and we'll do a review of that of that because these are a little bit bigger and you're going to want the hardener if you're going to be cleaning and also someone could step on this and their footprint would go into it. It wouldn't just make sense. Uh, so that's why we're going to use it for that. But overall, this came out pretty easy, pretty nice. It's good for small ones and I wouldn't use it for anything bigger than that. Um, but we could say that we're satisfied you know, with the results for, you know, the value. But that's it for Glen Velvet Reviews. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community, just like I get help from the community, right? And if you can, unless you dislike me for any reason, you could support the channel by clicking on the affiliate links below. Somehow, someway times a million equals up into something. But from what I saw, there are other ways to support the channel on YouTube. And if you do decide to support the channel, Please make sure you come back, see that I'm putting that support back into it, getting more stuff to review, doing updates on the items as they break so we know we're getting value, and also helping my subscribers out with any questions they have on the products I already reviewed. All right, so everybody enjoy. Be safe. Glenn Velvet Reviews is out. Bye-bye, everybody.